A single computer cannot handle all of Facebook's backend activities. It'll most likely explode. To solve this, Facebook and other large-scale software applications use a distributed system architecture. Here's everything you need to know about that architecture in less than one minute. Go. Distributed systems are a collection of components spread across different computers that operate as a single unit. Instead of relying on a single centralized computer, tasks and data are distributed across multiple nodes in the network. Thousands, if not millions of requests go to Facebook daily for different reasons like logging in, sending friend requests, creating posts, and more. All the requests are distributed to a bunch of computers with access to databases and resources needed to fulfill the request and act as a single unit, which is Facebook. Microservice architecture, which I recently made a video about located in the technical concept playlist on TikTok, is a type of distributed system. There are other distributed system patterns like peer-to-peer, client-server, publisher-subscriber, and more. Essentially, any software pattern that involves the coupling parts of the system into individual components that work together to achieve the same goal can be classified as a distributed system. All this and more will be part of the academy I'm creating to guide you into tech. Follow all my calls for more programming content like this.